It's your boy High Five Vega back again and this time we're checking out a piece that's a little bit more high end, a little bit more my taste. It's the Audison SR 1.500 mono block amplifier. Let's see if more money is more better or uh, you know, it makes the power it says and it sounds good. Without further ado, let's unbox it and uh, put it on the amp dyno and see what it does. All right, let's open this up and see what's in the box. All right, nothing crazy. Standard amplifier packaging here. This one is refurbished, so it's not going to be like brand new, but it should be in good working order. But you get basically all the new things. You get an owner's manual. Of course, you get the screws here. And you're going to want to keep these screws because like the kicker amps, they're kind of deep with the way they mount. So, so you need a little bit of extra length on these. That's what she said. <laughs> and if you open that manual, you do get to see the ratings here. So it does have two 35 amp fuses. It is rated 500 watts at 4 ohm, 800 watts at 2 ohm, and 1000 watts at 1 ohm. And then you get your size specs here. It's 10 and a half basically by 6 by 2. All right, let's look at the amp itself. You get 1000 watts in a small package. You know, it's kind of common today. It's back in the day, it was not common. But you have your power and your ground here. You have the remote in and a remote out, so that's nice. Then you have your speaker outs right here. I assume they're eternally bridged. This is a mono amp. Then you have your uh, input and you have pre outs, your speaker level, and then a bass knob control, which it did not come with. I don't know if that's because it's refurbished or it's just an add on, but it is a 3.5 style. You can see on the side, you got two 35 amp fuses. Around the other sides is just more heat sink. So uh, let's take the cover off so we can kind of get a look at the controls here. All right, I mean, it's fairly simple. You got a high pass level control, phase control, 50 hertz bass boost, low pass. Then you have the filter on and off and a subsonic filter. All right, I did consult the manual and the art button here. That's for automatic turn on by speaker level. And then one thing I do need to correct is, I think I just said this was the high pass filter. Well, that's for the pre outs. I just didn't read that there. All right, we're gonna start with the four ohm test. We are rated 500 watts by one at 14.4 volts. You can see the conductor is showing negative nine amps. It does that when I hook it up to the cap bank. Five hundred and ten watts, thirteen point eight volts, pulling fifty-eight amps. Not too bad. Made rated. So next we'll go with the two ohm test where we're rated eight hundred watts. And we'll see if it can make power at that impedance. All right, we are on to the 2 ohm mono test. We are rated 800 watts by one. So we're looking to meet or beat that. That being said, let's start it and see if we make rated on this one. See if we can hold voltage on this one. Nine hundred twenty watts, pulling seventy-one amps at thirteen point eight volts. Now we're going to go on to the one ohm test and see what we do, where we are rated one thousand watts by one. All right, now we are on to the one ohm mono test. We're rated one thousand watts by one. Let's see what it will do. I have faith that we're going to exceed the one thousand watt rating because we did pretty good at two ohm. So let's let it run and see what it'll do. nine hundred and thirty nine watts at thirteen point five volts now i want to run that back 
Let's see if we can get it to a true one ohm here. Eleven hundred ninety two watts at thirteen point eight volts. Not too bad. I'm pretty impressed with this amp. It did rated power plus some. All right, you know what time it is. Let's check out those guts. See what this thing's actually made of. All right, it's time for my final thoughts on the Audison SR1.500. I think it's a really good value. We haven't heard it on subs yet. We're going to save that test for when it makes it in the Trooper. This will be the main sub amp. Now, obviously, I'll be testing and using other amps at different points, but for the everyday system, the Audison will be it. Paired up with another Audison DSP amp, which we will dyno soon. Like I said, overall, I think it's a really good value for money right now. Um, I don't know what they used to cost, but current prices are a little less than $300. And at that price, it exceeded all its ratings, and I think it's gonna be a really good sounding amp. I have not listened to this one yet, but I've listened to many Audison amps, and I have never been disappointed. Should you buy the Audison SR1.500? Depends on what you're looking for. If you want an amp and you're more sound quality focused uh, and less power focused, this one would be a good pickup for you. Now, if you want more power and you want more bass, you're probably going to want to spend that $300 on something else that's going to give you a little bit more power. So it's all about who the customer is. And with all that being said, I hope you do enjoy these videos. If you're not already subscribed, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you are already subscribed, I appreciate you. You guys are the best. And I will catch you on my very next video. This video is brought to you by Custom Audio by JD. Whether you need a custom enclosure or a full-on SPL build, he has you covered. So check the description below and I will leave links to his business and socials so you can get a hold of him. A big shout out to all my supporters, but a special shout out goes to the Six Star or more members. El Fuego Audio, Baba, Cornut, Scott McCord, David Koslick, Scott Dielbeck, Dennis Cromwell Jr., Fox Boy Audio Sound Solutions, Travis McLennan, William Berg, 2001 Monolithic, Joaquin Juarez, Old School Stereo, Living Loud with Andy, Thomas Marshall, Kevin Lautner, D. Stewart, Jesus Tires, and Bobby Burkett. You can join the team for as little as $2 a month. Get your name in the credits for as little as $3 a month. And for as little as $6 a month, you can get your name read aloud. Join me at patreon.com slash hi vega.